All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another Real Talk. I pray y'all are having a wonderful blessed day as we give the Most High all the honor, the glory, and all the praise and worship. My title says, I got unshakable faith. I got unshakable faith. This is a video that responds back to um, you, Sister Rollins. You know who you are. And it was a few more other people, um, you know who you are, that emailed me about, you know, how I overcame the heart failure and all that. And that's why I want to use this title, I Got Unshakable Faith. I want to do this video to encourage you, to lift you up, to tell you don't give up. Quitting is not an option. My spirit determined my healing when I was in the hospital. Now, first of all, let me say this, because we are all on different spiritual levels. Some are new to the faith. Some are like, we could say, intermediate. And then some of us, we could say, is on a high level of faith, of belief, of knowing. First of all, I got past believing. Oh, come on, teach Holy Spirit. And I started knowing. I not only believed I was going to be healed, I knew I was healed. Why? Because there is life and death in the power of the tongue. I look at my whole situation that I went through as an attack of the devil to shut my speech down so I couldn't minister no more. <laughs> to shut my hands down so I couldn't play the piano and give him the praise and glory and all the worship no more. So once I started looking at my situation, it didn't matter how bad my mouth twisted way over there. It didn't matter that my arm wouldn't move no more. And I, I and they said that your heart ain't going to get no better because I've overcame all that. Mm. This is my testimony. I plead the blood. So when you land up in that hospital bed, speak. Before you get into a hospital bed, what do you mean by that, JT? Every day that you, the most time allows you to wake up, you speak over your health. You speak over your, your finances. Your health is your wealth. Because you can't do nothing if you ain't if you're down and out. But I can't tell people to do what I do, sister. You know who you are. I can tell you all day long what I've done, but I don't know if you believe like I believe. Come on, come on now. I don't know if you know like I know. I don't know if you have enough faith to just say, I ain't taking these pills. See, some people going to get off them pills and they damn near die. Mm. And some of them stay on the pill and they still die. When the doctor tell you to pop this one, pop that one, put this one for that one. This one got this many side effects. This one got that many side effects. And no disrespect toward any doctor, any nurse. This is all out of love. But they know, even they know, that there's some things off of them synthetic drugs that's not good for your body because our body was not created to be on synthetic drugs. So your spirit is going to determine your healing. You're looking at me right now, sister. Let me tell you something. That same heart that they told me it wasn't going to get better is the same heart that's pumping in me stronger than ever before. I spoke it. This same heart does not have a stench in it. Oh, mm, mm, mm. This same heart does not have a pacemaker. Mm. This same heart that they said, JT, you need to be on the heart transplant list. And I don't know how you're going to do that. And I don't know how you're going to come up with the money. The most I touched this same heart. Mm. Because even when my heart was down, my heart was still up. I'm talking about that inside of it now. So the inside of my heart healed the outside of my heart. Can I get a witness? I'm about to shout in this truck. See, some of us don't understand the power of life and death and the power of the tongue. Some of us don't understand that there ain't nothing too hard for the Holy Spirit. I don't care what the doctors say. The doctor don't have the last word. Even when you're dealing with these doctors, you need to talk to the higher doctor that created you, the one that know your body better than you know your, yourself, than, than the doctor know himself. You go to the source. You go to the Holy Spirit. I could have easily gave up. But every day I laid in the hospital, it was a fight in me. 
You probably ain't gonna be able to talk right again. Oh, I was talking in that same week. My mouth is still a little twisted, but it moved right back. And it, it, it made my voice get stronger and stronger. See, the devil don't understand what he did now. It's made me testify even more. Because I know what the devil is trying to do to me. And then I also know when the most high is getting my attention. But your spirit will determine your healing. Many people I know had a stroke and they gave up. They gave up on life. And then they start saying things like, well, I just, I guess this is the way it's supposed to be. I guess the Lord don't want me to get no better. No, that's the wrong attitude. That's the wrong mindset. That's the wrong behavior. Once you keep speaking negative in your life, don't expect to get here. I had battled with heart failure since 2012. This is 19. What's that, seven years? Yep. <laughs> Y'all know that spiritual number of completion, seven. So I'm here to speak blessings in your life. If you're speaking all that negative, then you, you will stay down. But don't give that devil that opportunity to win over you. I don't care what we go through in this life. I got unshakable faith. That means it's not even question. It's undisputable. I ain't turning back. See, we've been we've been taught wrong all our life that well, all you need is just a little faith. That ain't what the Bible is saying. And then you read scriptures that that our Savior said, "Oh, ye of little faith, <laughs> you faithless generation." See, I, I want to have. I, oh, let me say this right. I don't want to have. I already got it. It's unshakable. You can look at my life and tell everything I done went through, I done overcame it. Bounce back harder than never before. I got unshakable faith. It's, it's, that means it's huge. You sit up there and talk. You, you can speak that little faith, that little prayer, and those little blessings and those little healings in your life if you want to. But when you got unshakable faith like JT, you're questioning that doctor. You'll look at yourself and then you'll say, okay, Father, what is it that you want me to do? When you got that unshakable faith, it ain't no talking down on yourself. When you got that unshakable faith, you know you are healed. Even though you may not be healed instantly at that moment, but you speak it and you know that you are healed. I knew it. See, everything don't happen on our time the way we want it to happen. Oh, here we go again. It's going back to the process that I preached about not too long ago. When you endure, when you're going through that process, it may not seem like it's going to get better. Mm. It may even look like it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. But it ain't about what it look like. It's about how you deal with it while you're going through it. Because if you believe and know in, in the Holy Spirit like I'm talking about, you are healed. You may have to take a few days, a few weeks, and maybe even a few years, just like I did, to go through it. There was a woman in the Bible, and I'm reminded of the woman in the Bible that had the blood issue. That woman walked around for 12 years with that issue. She went to every doctor. They couldn't do nothing for her. And once again, this is not the down talking disrespect, no doctor. But when you start talking about the high power, hmm, that woman went to everybody for 12 years, and she just said, if, if, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, if I could just lay my hands on him a little bit, I know I could be here. Look at what happened to her. Yahshua said, who touched me? He knew who touched him. He wasn't saying it like it was a, a shock on who it was because he was all knowing. But he knew that, 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 that whoever that was that touched him, he knew who it was, excuse me. That belief, that unshakable faith that she had. See, what man couldn't do for that woman, the most I did. Them doctors couldn't figure out what was wrong with me. 
They brought in a high power doctor. <laughs> He's from such and such. If he can't figure it out, Mr. Thompson, we don't know what else to tell you. That, 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 that dude looked me in my eyes. He said, son, I ain't never seen a case like this. He said, your heart all the way down to 11%. Then it went to 13%. He said, how are you even breathing? Where's you getting your strength from? He said, and, and, and you don't have no pacemaker. You, he said, we can't put we can't put this in you. We can't put that in you because your your arteries are not clogged up. Every exam examination they done on me, I beat it with all power. I beat it, and then I bounced all the way back. They said, man, let's do another EKG. For those who don't know what an EKG is, it's an echocardiogram. It, it'll show you how your heart doing. But I came over that with all power. So my, as I close, I got unshakable faith. Have a blessed day. Shalom.